What's up guys, it's Miracle Cat Corelli and this is episode 273 of my Cat Vibes series. And today I'm traveling all the way to Nigeria. My subject is a Nigerian woman somewhere in Africa, in Nigeria. It was the beginning of April when I painted this uh, little painting and I just felt that I really wanted to go someplace warm because it I guess wasn't getting warm enough here in Kentucky and um, generally speaking just when I paint something I like to wander in my mind I like to go places I'm somewhere else I'm kind of present and I'm kind of not at the same time or it's like basically like opening another dimension almost so I really feel for some whatever reason I can't ex even explain this I feel that I want to paint more Africa related things, landscapes, mm, portraits, mm, something colorful, something about that continent. I don't know why. I, I just have such a feeling. Maybe it has to do something with my dreams because um, some of my most memorable, memorable dreams, some of the dreams that I still remember to this day had to do with Africa. Uh, sometimes with a very specific location like um, Serengeti, for example. I had a dream. I believe it was... I believe I've seen it somewhere around 20... When was that? 2007. 2007. And it was located in Africa. I had this feeling like I've been there in the African savanna in Serengeti. It's bizarre. It's weird. There's a very specific painting that I want to make. I want to find good references so that I can study what wildlife looks like around there, what kind of weeds grow there, and, you know, generally speaking, what it looks like. I, I need several references to look at this, but I think I have the image in my mind because I remember that scene from 2007 when I seen that dream. Uh, that scene had three warriors, African warriors, with long, long spears, and they were standing under a baobab. Uh, it was a huge, enormous, beautiful tree. And uh, I walked out of an old mansion, and I walked through the, across the savanna on foot. It was a rainy, early morning. I remember the skies, I remember the baobab, and I remember those three warriors. Uh, I want to paint that painting. I don't know how to go about that painting. It's kind of important for me personally, so I really want to go there. And I don't know what African country was this in. Um, I don't know. No idea. And who were these warriors? What African nations should I even use for reference? Because they were very tall. Very tall. They were like giants. And the tree was very tall, and I was very small. And their spears were very long, and I believe I remember some of their, um, some of some of the paint on their faces a little bit, and their skin was almost almost charcoal black. So that's something to investigate. Anyways, this time I am painting a lady in yellow. She's a Nigerian lady. I'm just guessing because um, the photo reference that I'm using here says it. And uh, I, somehow I found this uh, painting to be very enjoyable. Something about it. I don't know. Maybe it's uh, about the tone of the greenery, the vegetation, in contrast to her yellow clothing. And I really love, I really love her clothes here because it's so colorful. It's yellow, but it's it's all sorts of yellow. It's not just one yellow. There are some cooler yellow shades, there's some slightly greenish, and there is some turquoise um, and deep red and magenta and uh, scarlet little rims, lines, deep blue little lines and something like this. And um, it was pretty interesting to paint, to match the color of her skin. It's kind of a mocha chocolate tone. I find it very interesting because this is perhaps the first time that I'm actually painting, um, painting a person who is not white, but 
who's in fact African and has a dark uh, skin color. So it's it's pretty interesting. Never done this before. And the greenery is different. It's not the same kind of greenery that I see here. Uh, the greenery here has a different undertone. And most definitely, this greenery, this African greenery, is different from my home country, from Russia. Russian greenery is not like the Kentucky greenery, and it's not like the African greenery. And one might, I don't know, a casual observer might notice that, but it, I actually seen it in plain, I, I see it in plain sight. It's, um, there's a huge difference. And uh, I wouldn't want, to, wouldn't want to go into the nitty-gritty of it. But also the other thing I think is that the color of the greenery, the perceived color of the greenery, with all of its undertones and tints and shades and all that kind of thing. It depends on the lighting, but it also depends on the atmospheric conditions, I think, the climate, uh, the atmospheric conditions, and the nature of the greenery. What kind of shrubs, what kind of trees, what kind of tree bark is there, what kind of growth is there, what kind of vegetation is there, what kind of grass is there and bush and all that kind of thing and all these plants are different uh, around here in Kentucky for example I don't see um, something that is very common back in Russia and that is the nettle for example uh, which is also by the way used for medicinal for its medicinal properties uh, perhaps it is found somewhere here in North America but I just don't see it where I live here in Kentucky but there are other shrubs and uh, Stuff like poison ivy, for example, which is non-existent in Russia. You don't see it there. But my point is, is that these colors, they're very different. It might seem that it's all the same kind of green, but it, it's not the same kind of green. It's very different, really. It's very different. It's kind of like, you know, comparing guitar tones, for example, or vocal tones, um, something like this. There is a difference. And um, there's something about the tone that I wanted to capture, something about the lighting and something about my subject here, this lady. I kind of like her pose, how she sits. It looks like she's waiting for something or maybe she, maybe she's kind of daydreaming. And I think what I was trying to get at here and the... the reference photo didn't exactly convey that feeling, but I think I wanted to... Uh, exaggerate what I personally have seen in that reference photo because to me this lady she is waiting for someone she's sitting there she longs for someone perhaps she has someone in her mind and I think her body is slightly just slightly tilted forward just a little bit and she has her hands folded and she's just gazing into the distance but She's gazing not casually. It's not an idle kind of gaze. I think she waits for someone. I have this feeling. And there's a little bit of a breeze coming in because um, she has a headpiece, a kerchief perhaps, something like that, very decorated, which probably is part of the ensemble with uh, her dress. There you see it. And there's a little bit of a breeze, so it kind of... The edges of it are kind of blown to the right. There she is. And I think she's almost kind of, she's not sitting on the edge of that stool, but she's about almost like she's ready to stand up. She's slightly tilted forward. And I think she's tired of waiting. She's waiting and waiting. She's tired of waiting. And I just wanted to capture this. I felt that this is something, there is something to this painting, something to this subject matter. And, uh, <sighs> I just tried to exaggerate this. So here's the final painting. Um, I'm going to frame this painting. It's called Lady in Yellow. And um, I think after some time, I will post I will post to my Instagram as an image. Anyways, thank you very much for being with me. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Thank you very much to my recent subscribers. If you want any of my paintings, reach out to me at ladycatherinecrowley at gmail.com. And uh, we will talk about this. So with that being said, thank you very much once again. Have a wonderful day, and uh, you will hear me on the next episode. Meow.